to the first question today from I go 10. Are the Patriots done this off season or does Bill Belichick have one more move up his sleeve? Jimmy G perhaps. Shereen, what's your instinct tell you? Are they done or do they have more moves? I think if they could get Jimmy G, that would be the one move that Bill Belichick would love to do. Right. And I think he would like to have Jimmy G as his quarterback, but at this point, it doesn't look like the 49ers are ready to move Jimmy G. Maybe at some point this offseason they will, perhaps after the draft. Maybe not. I mean, we know what John Lynch has said. And as you pointed out, GMs lie or at least tell the truth as they see it at the time. But we'll see what Jimmy G's future is. But I would see that, Mike, as probably the one move they would have left in them that would open some eyes if, if they're able to, to make that move. I, I think that, that they may be waiting for Marcus Mariota to be cut by the Las Vegas Raiders. They won't trade for him. They're not going to take on a $10 million salary. And if Jimmy, or if, if Marcus Mariota, excuse me, is going to take less money, Jimmy G may have to too, but if Mariota is going to take less money, may as well just get cut and go pick his next team without anyone having to give up assets to get him. But Mariota and Cam Newton would be an intriguing combination in New England. Garoppolo, I, I just don't know what the 49ers are going to do. I still think Sam Darnold is in play there. That's not something that potentially would happen until after the draft. But we saw there was interest in Mitchell Trubisky. He ends up going to Buffalo on a one-year, $2.5 million deal. So there must not have been much interest in Trubisky in San Francisco and no interest in him as a potential starter. I just think that if the 49ers get the guy that they want, dollar-for-dollar dollar upgrade over Garoppolo, that's when Garoppolo will be out. And I still think they'll cut him because no one's going to trade for $25 million a year salary and beyond quarterback. I don't rule out some sort of a move and, and additional moves by the Patriots. This is when I thought they would start making their moves. There are still some big name players out there that they could go out and try to attract recognizable names, talented guys that as they are on the market longer and longer, Shireen, those guys are going to have reduced expectations and Bill Belichick may be able to get, be able to get them for a lot cheaper than he ever would have dreamed. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Who wouldn't want to go play at New England with what they've done this offseason thinking that Bill Belichick can get it done again, right? I mean, I know some players are hesitant to go play for Bill Belichick, but heck, you look at his record. Why wouldn't you go there? You think he has a chance to turn it around and be a Super Bowl champion again. So absolutely, they could make some more moves as some of these guys' salary demands come down. They would never take back Antonio Brown, but hey, Leonard Fournette, wouldn't that be something if the Patriots yeah. pluck him away from the Buccaneers? And, you know, he's not going to be an every down back, and that's not what the Patriots do, but at a reasonable salary, he could be part of the rotation up there, and that would make for plenty of intrigue this season. One more real quick. I, a Sid So Epic, I think, is the Twitter handle. Not entirely sure. Bears fans and the rest of the NFL are currently clowning the team for signing Andy Dalton. If you were the GM, Shireen, what move would you have made at quarterback? Well, they didn't make it. It couldn't get Russell Wilson. We know that. And that's the move you would hope if you're the Bears, you're able to make. But they weren't able to move that. Had to get the bridge quarterback. Personally, I would have re-signed Mitchell Trubisky. I think he's a better quarterback right now than Andy Dalton is. But obviously, they didn't want him back. You're not going to sell him to Bears fans. So they got Andy Dalton. He'll be their one-year quarterback. I don't think they tried hard enough to get Russell Wilson. And I don't know who leaked last week to Dan Patrick, the three first-round picks, third-round pick, and two starters. That's not going to get Russell Wilson. You've you really got to back up the truck of picks and players, Khalil Mack, et cetera, if you want to get Russell Wilson. And if you get Russell Wilson and he wants to be there and he understands it's going to take some time to rebuild, then you got him for 10 years and he's going to be happy, and you run the offense through him, and I think that's what I would have done if it was up to me, and Bears fans everywhere should be happy that I'm not running the show. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.